Hey YouTubers, 505 Gamer Girl back in action. So, got some good news and we got some bad news. Good news is, this video is going to give you a little hint of what went down at E3 this year. And then as this video goes on, I'm going to put little comments of G4's top 100 games of all time. So pay attention to that, guys. That's going to be super important. And you get to see if your favorite game made the cut for their top 100 games. Assassin's Creed 2 came in at number 66. Honestly, it could have gone a little bit higher. I think that game was so good. The way they were explaining it, saying how amazing it was, having the double hidden blade and all that shit. But you win some, you lose some. So pay attention for that. So I'm going to get started on one of the most exciting things I think I've seen in a long time. And it is the, pur the Midnight Purple 3DS that just hit the shelves not too long ago. Check out what it looks like. Isn't that awesome? The Midnight Purple 3DS is so pretty. I know I'm just saying that because I'm a girl, but <laughs> and I'm really excited because this is the most that Nintendo's ever expanded on its held handheld devices for colors. And I hear they've got more in the works. So that's really freaking cool because not every kid just wants a black DS. That's really lame. <laughs> <laughs> or white, or blue, or red. So I'm really excited for this. Um, now let's get on to E3. Ah, oh, it was so good this year. They've got so much that's going to be coming out really soon to future, and it's always going to keep you on your toes this year. There's always something that's going to be coming out either now, later in the summer, the fall, in the holiday season. They've got a lot of shit coming, you guys, and I'm so excited. Okay, so we're going to start off with Nintendo, since it's alphabetically correct. <laughs> you know, Nintendo, PS3, Xbox. So anyway, um, Nintendo, coming soon to the shelves, um, we have Myst. I've never played the original game, but I heard it's a really cool, like, puzzly kind of adventure game where you go around and you're in just, like, in this giant castle. Ah. <sighs> My friend told me about it not too long ago, and it sounded like a really awesome game. So I might have to get that um, for the 3DS. So excited! Um, that's coming out in July 2012. So watch your shelves, people. That'll be coming out here really soon. Um, another thing that's coming out in July is Kingdom Hearts 3D. Obviously, all of these games I'm saying are all coming out for the 3DS, because I'm so excited that all of these are coming out. Um, we already covered, like, the Wii U in the system, so let's follow up with a little 3DS action, yeah? Um, coming out two days after my birthday, uh, the new Super Mario Bros. 2 is going to be coming out for the 3DS, and I'm like, ah! oh, the release date for it is August 19th. So I'm like, ah, oh, I have to get this after my birthday. This is going to be so good. Um, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Finally! Ah, oh, I've been waiting for this game since it, since Luigi's Mansion came out on the GameCube. I'm really upset that they didn't release Luigi's Mansion 2 on the Wii. Cause that's what we were all expecting. And that they skipped an entire generation of system is... Meh. We'll see how it works out, but I'm still really excited for Luigi's Mansion. That game was so great. Um, Paper Mario Sticker Star is coming out in this holiday season, along with Luigi's Mansion 2. And I love Paper Mario so much. And from the videos and the pictures I've seen, it's going to be a whole new Paper Mario experience, which is great, because you don't want to go and, and redo something that's old. You want to revamp it and make it brand new. So I'm so excited for that. Um, Kingdom Hearts. 3D, I already went over, and Epic Mickey, The Power of Two, is coming out for the Xbox 360, the Wii, and the PS3, which I think is great, because if one game can hit all the systems, you just can't go wrong, and that's going to be so much money! <laughs> Alright, now we're going to work our way down to the PlayStation 3 and the Vita. Uh, we've got God of War Ascension that will be coming out for the PS3 <laughs> um, here shortly. Uh, it'll be a game about how Kratos became the god of war. How he became the earth dweller instead of the god. Why he was banished 
from the upstairs in the first place. What happened between him and Zeus? That just... Deuces. <laughs> so, I'm excited to see what's going to go down with this game. It's definitely something I'm going to have to buy, since I love God of War. Um, Little Big Planet Karting for the Vita, the PS3, and the PSP. Shocker! They're still making games for the PSP. So for all you kids that couldn't afford the Vita, still making games for you. Good on you, Sony. Um, Little Big Planet for the Vita. Ugh, love Little Big Planet so much. It is so cute, and it's a fucking hard game. So uh, I'm really excited this is coming out. Um, PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. Um, if you've ever played, um, they've got like a Sega Superstars game. Um, but then again, they've got like a Nintendo game where all the Nintendo stars come together and like fight each other. And so they're gonna do that with the PlayStation All Star people. So I'm like, that's fucking cool. That's gonna be so much fun. They got like Paul Rapper the Rappa, and I'm like, yeah. Um, they have Sly Cooper Thieves in Time for the Vita and the PS3 that'll be coming out soon. Sly Cooper has not had a new game in a while. And when I mean a while, I'm like PlayStation 2, PlayStation status, like way back when. So that should be a great game. Um, Hitman Absolution should be coming out November 20th for the 360 and the PS3. So I'm so excited for that. Hitman is fucking cool. He is so good. He has to be my second favorite assassin. Um, and then Elder Scrolls. They're making another Skyrim, except for it's going to be called Dawn Guard, where you get to choose between two different groups, I'm going to call them, because I can't think of like the actual word they want to use, but two different groups. And that sounds like really cool. I love when you pick and choose, and then you can start a new game and then pick the other side and see what goes on on that side. So that's really cool. Um, that'll be out for the PS, uh, PS3, the 360, and PC. So look out for that as well. <clears throat> and now on to Xbox 360. We have Fable The Journey, Forza Horizon. I'm not huge into racing games, but... I really did like Midnight Club and all that stuff, so I'm hoping Forza's kind of like that, but I doubt it. <laughs> but we'll see what Forza's got in the works. Um, Gears of War Judgment for all you Gears lovers. Um, Halo 4 for all you Halo fanboys out there that I know already have the game fucking pre-ordered and paid off. When I worked at um, GameStop, this game was selling like fucking crazy, and it's not even out yet. But people came in to pre-order that bitch and pay it off. I don't blame them, because I've already got Assassin's Creed 3 completely paid off. So, I'm really excited. <laughs> um, Happy Wars is going to be something kind of weird and new. It kind of gave me like a little big planet kind of feel. But you're going to choose different anime-ish characters to battle in different kinds of zones, like Dark, Earth water, all kinds of different things. So I thought that looked pretty cool. Um not sure how well it's gonna sell, but we'll see. Um Mark of the Ninja Matter looks really cool. Um and then Wrecketeer, which will be coming out here shortly as well. Um I'm just I'm so excited from what E three has already brought us and what will it what it'll be bringing here shortly. Um I think this year is gonna be so great for video games. Um and then 2013 is going to bring so much with new systems, you know, the newest consoles like the Wii U and the Xbox 720. Um, I'm just mind completely blown that they have just been on it this year. I'm so excited for everything. Um, and lastly, coming to the end of the video, um, the question of the video is... Uh, is there anything I missed from E3 that you're really looking forward to? Because I just wanted to do a light skim of things that looked badass. So if there's anything I missed, comment down there. Let me know what I missed. Tell me why you want this game to come out. And why it's going to be so much better than everything else that's going to be out here lately. Um, and now the bad news. Uh, bad news, I'm not going to be making a video for next week. Ah, I know, sad day. Um... I will be in Texas at the time because, dear God knows, I need a vacation from New Mexico. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> so I'm going on vacation 
And I will not be there the whole, I will not, I'll, I won't be here for this whole next week. So, if y'all miss me, I apologize, but I need a vacation. <laughs> um, well guys, I hope y'all don't miss me too, too much. That make my heart sad. <laughs> um, I will see y'all, let's see, calendar time. I will see y'all on, mm, the week of July 1st. So, keep your computers open, and thanks for watching this video, guys. Have a great day.